Well, residents advise to properly plan utilizing any alternative energy sources for your home or business. Here is Bahamas Power and Light Company's Chief Operation Officer Tony Seymour with some recommendations she provided at last week's Bahamas Business Outlook. So we've seen an increase in customers installing their own rooftop solar. As I mentioned, there are some schools in New Providence that already have it. So what we, what we would want our customers to do is come in, apply for the small scale renewable generation program that we have, where we come to your home, we swap out your meter. So your meter will now read the energy that you consume as well as the energy that you put back into the grid and what that allows is for credits to be applied to your bill at the end of the month. Seymour also identifying a number of islands where alternative energy generation is becoming more common. Exuma is one of the islands that is growing very rapidly. So we, we do have islands like Exuma, Eleuthera and Abaco in our short to medium term strategies in terms of boosting their generation capacity because we know that there are a lot of new projects coming on stream. Long Island, for example, just had a groundbreaking recently. So as these projects roll out, as a company, we have to, we have to look at what facilities we have available on the island and then what new infrastructure we have to put in to accommodate these new developments. So it's an ever-changing strategy. It's no one size fits all. We are proud of our history. We have had some challenges along the way, some bumps in the road, but we're looking forward to a more integrated, resilient, reliable, energy efficient, environmentally friendly utility for Bahamians. Well, for the business sector, challenges also identified on the road towards developing new business ventures. Expert Christelle Feast believes those concerns exist in areas of labor shortage, energy cost, infrastructural development, along with climate change locally, coupled with challenges from the international market. There are some global challenges that businesses are encountering here in the Bahamas. Um, before any business produces any product, any service, these factors impact the cost of doing business. There are global inflation. Um, there are some views that inflation is going to stabilize. Coming out of Davos this past week, World Economic Forum, that inflation may be stabilizing in certain parts of the world. But there's also a consensus that um, inflation is actually going to remain high in this part of the world. Uh, supply shortages that remain as a result of COVID, coming out of COVID. Um, high energy prices, as far as Ukraine seems, the war in Ukraine is driving energy prices. Um, and then shipping costs, all of that translate to higher shipping costs. We import so many things to produce our goods and services. Um, and so these are global challenges that affect the cost of the goods we produce. In addition, global uncertainty. If people are uncertain about what the future holds in their own country, they're going to think twice about visiting a place like, like the Bahamas, about coming to the Bahamas, about traveling here, about obtaining goods and services outside of the Bahamas. So those are some of the global challenges.